I would like to take a moment to discuss your feelings. The feelings we are all feeling on Yom Atzmah. And that is the feeling of grief, of pain, of our siblings, our sisters, our brothers in captivity, our soldiers on the front line, and those that have lost children, spouses, parents, and saddest of all, those children that don't know what they lost, too young to be. What's the celebration? Let's look at the source. Yeah, let's see. The source is a day in Germany called the Vince Perm. The Vince Perm was celebrated every year six days after the Perm that happened initially in Persia, in Shusha. It was a celebration after an evil baker conspired to rise up against his Germany the emperor, and in the process looted and killed Jews. There's a Megillah written, 100 verses, 100 chapters, you can find online, detailing what transpired and the eventual victory. That is one of the multiple sources quoted for Yom Atzimut, and it was called Vince Aperm, in celebration of the downfall of this baker, Vince. Take a, po a, a moment to pause and pause. That pain through those, I believe it was a, a few years of persecution, of, of torture, of not being able to defend themselves. It was the worst massacre and prosecution between the Middle Ages and the Holocaust. Was celebrated when it ended. Ooh, that God has not forsaken his nation, his people. We rebuild. And to that, they made a celebration, a feast. That brought about, and is quoted as a source for Yom Atzimut, and this too will lead to our next perm. It's hard to see now, and yes, it's hard to feel it. But one day, God willing, we'll look back, and we will have perm. And as is recorded, we will have a feast. We will drink, and we will celebrate the same way they celebrated in the Vince perm when that was all over. In honor of today, we have L'chaim. Baruch Atah Adin Aleinu Chom Sha'akom Niyat Bilal. L'chaim.